Hello, so I'm going to make some succotash. It's going to be vegan, no meat. And I'm making it from homemade, from scratch. And my ingredients are fresh okra, 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 a pepper, I have bell pepper, I have red onions, I also have tomatoes. These are sweet Italian peppers. They're not hot, they're sweet. I have fine sweet basil. I have oregano more oregano, cumin, garlic powder, turmeric, I have fresh garlic, and I have nutrition, nutritional yeast seasoning. And I'm going to put a liquid, liquid in video just a little bit, and these are all my ingredients. And once again, this is going to be called succotash, but vegan, no meat. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to saute my onions, garlics, and peppers, sweet peppers. I have grapeseed oil in here, and I also have a tea kettle on with some hot water. You can use a cast iron skillet, but because I do not have a cast iron skillet, I'm using a saucepan, as you can see. So I'm putting my onions and my garlic, my peppers in here to saute. I'm going to add my seasoning in here as well and let this stir fry. As you can see, I added all my herbs, my spices and seasonings. I did not add any salt and you know the onions and the bell peppers to make its own flavor also. Okay, so now I'm going to take my okra, put it in here. I'm going to mix it up and let it cook so i got my okra in here I'm gonna mix it and let it cook now okay it's all mixed together i'm going to cover now i'm going to make my sauce this is tomato paste i'm going to add some water to this it's tomato paste just one can and i have my fresh tomatoes these are sweet from the farmer's market okay so here we go Making my own sauce. I'm gonna add my tomatoes also. Okay, and once again I use and I put two cups of this can of water in here, basically. And now I have my tomatoes. These are fresh tomatoes. I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna let cook down. This is homemade from scratch. I'm going to put some oregano in here and I'm going to put some basil and all my other seasonings are in my okra. Because I am vegan I'm not going to add any meat but you can add field rolls. These are vegan sausages or you can add um, whatever you would like and if you do eat meat you can add shrimp, you can add chicken, you can add sausages but I'm not going to add anything to this. I could add some vegan sausages, but I'm going to leave it like it is. Okay, let's continue to cook. Okay, my okra is all right here. I'm going to take my sauce. I'm going to pour it in there. I'm going to mix it together. Now, if you would like, you can use two cans of tomato paste. So it's just me. So I only made a little. And so now I am going to mix this all in here. There's no meat. If you would like, once I was saying, you can add meat if you would like. I don't eat corn. You can add corn. Succotash has corn also in it. Mm -hmm. All right, I shall return. Mix this all in here. I'll be back. My succotash is all finished. This is healthy, delicious, and nutritious. Mostly all my ingredients came from the farmer's market, organic tomatoes. Yes, delicious. You can have this with some chickpeas, aka garbanzo beans. I don't eat rice, but you can put it over rice if you would like. Um, like I was saying, you can add your favorite other vegetable. I don't eat corn. Usually succotash has corn, but I don't eat corn anymore. Okay, be blessed.